you could be a drunkard, a womanizer, and sometimes an ungrateful brute. Like Mozart and a select handful of greats, you seemed a genius placed into the body of a tyrannical infant. Maybe that's the trade-off. If you get to be one of the disproportionately talented, perhaps you must be deficient in other ways. There are so many people who would give anything, their possessions, their looks, their good health, their virtue, for the ability to create just one masterpiece. Whatever the reason, sometimes the most unrefined instrument is the one that produces the most resonant sound. Right now, I'm sitting at an ancient desk where you once sat and left your mark. Several circles left by your cup because you were too thoughtless or too deep in your cups to use a coaster. It's 1 a.m. and I'm pounding the bourbon with you, thinking out loud, interviewing the dead. Did you feel that you were chosen? Did you know it was your mission to spin sentences into gold? Were the right words ready and waiting inside you? Did they just rise to the surface easy like champagne bubbles? Or was it agony, having to sort and torture them out? How did you do what you did? Damn it, I want you to tell me your secrets. Now the house moans about aging. It's boards creaking and joints popping, but you are silent. Let's face it, you could be such an ass, you probably wouldn't answer me anyway. So I'm thumbing my nose at you, but in the same breath, I must salute you. Most of us will never be a Hemingway, a Rembrandt, or a Mozart. At best, if we are lucky, we might be a Salieri. The mediocre masses will continue to travel to places like this where you or the other masters worked and played. We will admire the objects you used, running our fingers over them if we are allowed, knowing that this is the closest we will come while on this earth to touching God. So tonight, I raise my glass to you, Big Papa, larger than life wordsmith, Lord of the Other Rings, a simple toast from this humble visitor, just a soon-to-be old woman who was dreaming about the literary lion. To Hemingway.